What's good? What's good, people? What is good? Welcome to the budding channel out here. I'm glad that the channel is grown a little bit. I kind of forgot how it feels like to have a channel that's growing somewhat um, during those couple months of like lag right there. But hopefully we're back on that. If we can get to that pace that we were at a couple months ago, that'd be stellar. Um, if we can get to that and then we can start expanding on that, that'd be pretty cool. Hopefully we can get there in a couple weeks to a month out here. We'll see what happens. But thank you guys, largely because of you guys' channel is growing. Thank you for continuing to watch and leave those good comments. Speaking of the comments, I think I might have found a way, at least we can try to attempt to have those comments that are that just get deleted routinely. Some of you, you guys know who you are, where your comments get deleted routinely. I think I may have found a way to have that not happen. So just, um, if you want your comments to be seen, because I can see the preview of them and the notifications, but I just can't see the full comments if they're longer comments and I can't see, and I can't see them under the video when they're posted. But if you post, just like try to post a shit, Actually, you know what's funny? I saw in my notifications, the, the, one of the commenters whose comments get routinely deleted, he posted literally six comments and they all got deleted, literally all of them. And then in one of the comments, he's like, I posted six comments, they all got deleted. And I'm like, yep, I can't see any of them. But if you just try to keep posting, if I get one of those comments eventually that actually show up on my on my like YouTube studio, I can approve your, I can approve your channel as like, like an approved commenter. So I can basically press a button that says always approve of this user's comments. And I've done that for some of the frequent comments. I just figured out that button today. So I've done that for a, a few of the, a few of you guys who I can see your comments, but those of you who, those of you who I can't, Eventually, if I see one on that YouTube studio, um, on that like YouTube studio comment section, I'll try to approve you guys as um, approved commenters. So we'll see what happens. Technically though, I already checked the box for literally every video. I check a box before I upload it that says allow all comments. Like you can hold comments for review. You can like delete some comments, but like, you can choose what you want to delete, but you can also press a button that says allow all comments. And I press that button every single time. So it's astounding to me. It's not me. That's kind of the person deleting these comments. It's, it's definitely YouTube, but you know, it is what it is, man. The cohorts, federated learning of cohorts. Like I'm just telling you guys, that is like one of the most underrated things that's gonna be impacting things, especially if people move towards social media and like this metaverse bullshit. If people start moving toward that stuff over time, man, um, federated learning of cohorts look like audiences is gonna be pretty important. So um, yeah, that's that. Let's just get into the topic of the video here. We're talking about another classical MGTOW, out, MGTOW topic out here, like I said in the last video. Um, also the audio on that last video, sorry, we'll probably get in, like, this is the last of the intro things. The audio on that last video got completely fucked up. I hope it does. I don't know what it, what it was. It wasn't during the editing. It wasn't during the upload. It was during the actual recording of the video. So I hope it doesn't happen here. We'll just see what happens with this video, but I'm gonna be devastated if it happens again. Cause like I dropped some gems in that last one that like got fucked over, like a full four minutes of that video got fucked over. So that's annoying. But hopefully that was a one-off thing because if it wasn't, then that means my SD card's fucked up or hopefully, hopefully that's not the case, but really hopefully what's not the case is my camera's fucked up because that wouldn't be good. But we'll see what happens. So unfortunately the audio was kind of trash for a little bit of the last video. Hopefully it doesn't happen in this one. But yeah, so, okay. That is, I believe, the last of the intro things. So now, classical MGTOW topic here. Like I was saying in my last video, we're gonna get back to some of these classical MGTOW topics. In this one, we're gonna discuss how 
basically the longer it takes for males to get established in whatever said society there is, then the younger the females are going to be that they pursue seriously when that time comes. So this is something that's I've already seen happen many times and I'm beginning to wrap my brain around it now as I'm like getting older and especially as I'm getting older post getting red pilled or whatever you want to call that like post getting woke or whatever I can see how that makes sense now I'm just seeing routinely older older guys are you know getting younger women for a variety of reasons you guys already know basically the majority of them but now um like in a lot of these you're talking about women that are like fresh out of college now is is kind of the thing um early 20s early to mid 20s you hear some MGTOW dudes say don't go don't get them over 25 some people are like don't get them over like 28 some people say don't get them over 30 some say over 35 i don't know whatever your number is that number is just going to get younger and younger as it takes dudes more and more time to get established because just from a standpoint of you're in the same society with these people and if women are going to be trying to um i mean for lack of a better word compete i hate using that word but for lack of a better word compete in the same realms as men are um, in terms of like the workplace and things like that. Those women aren't going to be desired by those men basically. Like for um, just for a lot of them. For enough of them that is you're going to see the impact. Because men that's not what they want out of women. And you already y'all already know this. Man. This is classical big tower talking here. Y'all already know this shit. Like men don't want that out of a woman. Just like women don't want certain things out of a man like they don't want a man to be trying to compete like to be more pretty than them or some shit on average maybe some women like that but most women they'd rather you know especially if they're serious about the guy maybe if it's you know that high school um that high school shit where like you're just dating and it's not serious then maybe that might be a thing where you want like you come at least you, you, like, the looks matter, but, like, at a certain point, and black pillars, like, looks matter, looks matter, all that shit, um, but at the end of the day, I just don't, what I see more often, truthfully, is different things mattering to women than men, so, like, looks matter for those women who want to continue that, like, high school shit up until older and older ages, but for the and that cohort, granted, that is a fairly large cohort, especially if you live in a place like California. Um, but even in, in even here in California, I'm seeing how that's not all women, and that's actually not even, to be honest, kind of the majority of women. Like, they don't want a super ugly guy, but you'd be shocked how looks don't matter as much as you think it does, like, social status... Um, finances matter a lot more and and other things um, like your personality like in terms of in terms of your your character is probably a better way to say it like your character like how um, like how you approach the world is a lot more important to a lot like to a lot more women than like your looks man and I, that's just to me that's just what i've seen honestly like those a lot of black poets would disagree with me it is what it is um but you know just that's just what i've noticed so the longer it takes for men to establish themselves financially to to understand the social landscape and be able to operate in that landscape because it's real, it's fairly complex in in a society such as ours it takes men longer to kind of get that down finances obviously you know when they're printing money it takes it takes a while to like understand that even even rich dudes finances matter in terms of how you can 
work with it, not necessarily just how much money you have. I mean, like, how you can work with it and how well you understand it. Because a lot of rich dudes, like, they're, they're out here simping and shit, man. Because they don't, they don't, like, it, it's different if you understand how the thing works rather than if you just have money. Like, my parents, for example, they have a good amount of money. Um, like they're not Bill Gates, but they're not, you know, they're not dirt poor. So they have a good amount of money, but they don't really understand. Like, I just hate to say it. It just is what it is. Um, I've just noticed this. They don't really understand how the system works. They they just, you know, they work really hard and they make a good amount of money. So there's nothing wrong with that. Like, it, it, that's how, that, you know, that's pretty good. In terms of working really hard, not understanding how the thing works, that's not good in my opinion at all. But like working really hard, that's 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 pretty good, and they have a good amount of money. Um, but especially if you were born here, to be honest, it, especially if you were born here, if you don't understand how kind of the thing works and how to work within that system, you're not gonna get like you're not really going to that's not gonna be as attractive as a dude who understands how the system works, like the financial system works. Um, to women who are born here, um, you can go overseas and do that whole thing and the game kind of changes a little bit. But if you were born here though, like if you're a native born person you and you want a native born woman here, understanding how the systems work here, social systems, financial systems, the whole general landscape here, that's what's attractive to a woman. Um, and since it, it takes, and what's attractive to a guy is fairly, um, at least in this society, like, um, I don't know how it is, I can't speak on how it is in other societies, but just in this United States and like Western society, whatever, Westernized nations, like people they hear as like men, they like, it's youth and beauty. You could argue that's just universal for most men, like to be 100% honest. And I, I can't speak on that definitively just because the only, I only know, like I'm only really familiar with two societies and that's Western society and like Nigerian society like West African society and like Western in terms of like um, UK, Australia, Europe, Western Europe and the United States, Canada, etc. Those are the two, those are the two kind of societies I, I'm familiar with. So I can only speak on those. And in both of those youth and beauty, man, like just, I'm, you could argue it's universal youth and beauty for men like that's and like fertility youth, beauty, fertility, purity in a sense, which kind of like just goes along with the youth. Um, that's what's important to do. So the longer it takes for men to establish themselves in the general society, the younger the women they're going to want because when they're trying to establish themselves, they're not seen as desirable by women. So they're not going to be seen as, for the most part. Um, there's obvious exceptions to it, but just for the most part, in terms of like a general amount of women, you're not going to, you're not going to be as attractive as you're working your way up. But once you're there, you're going to be attractive to like the majority of women. But like, as you work your way up, if it takes longer for you to work your way up and then you just, by extension of that, you just notice that you're not attractive to like women your age moving on and on and on and on and up, you're not going to turn back and look for women that age when you're there. So let's say you get to that success and you've had a few years of that success and then you're like 35 now. You're not going to then look at a 35 year old woman and say, hey, I'm established now. What's, what's good? You're not gonna look at a 35 year old woman and ask what's good because you've been trying to establish yourself for the past 
20 or so years and you saw that that woman did not necessarily have to take the same steps. It'd be different if women had to do the same things that men, if women were faced with the same trajectory that men were faced with, then you would probably see a 35 year old and a 35 year old saying, hey, what's good? But like due to biological reasons, due to societal reasons, that's not the case. So in an ideal world, you can make whatever various scenarios you want to make, but in the world that we inhabit, in this current society that we're in, if you're in a Western nation or a West African nation, those are the only two I can speak on, but um, wherever you are, align this to where to what you're experiencing. What I can speak on though, and for those two societies is if you have established yourself and you went through that trajectory, oftentimes women, they don't have that same trajectory. And it's not as if you're in the, in these two societies, um, like those, these two Western societies, like West African and um, just Western, like European, I guess is basically where it came from, but like we just call it Western. In those two societies, you are intermingling with women the entire time. So it's not as if you do your whole trajectory completely separate of women, even though that's what many MGTOWs, at least the young ones, that's what they're kind of trying to do, uh, maybe me included, kind of. Um, not really, I'm almost by force, like not necessarily even because I'm trying to do that, it's just kind of happening that way. Um, due to various other things that I'm gonna get into here, but you see though, like even you, you see that you have sisters, you have friends, especially from like when you're younger days, like when you were a kid, you, you just, you, so you can observe, what I'm trying to say is you can observe the trajectory, you can observe like the male trajectory and like the female trajectory and you just know it's not the same. So the more, like the longer, the more different those trajectories kind of are, the more you're going to, and the longer it takes for men to get established, the less they're going to look at women that are close to them in age. And they're not really gonna look at women that are older for most cases. Obviously it's not, it's not like that universally, but just in general, they're not really gonna look toward older women in terms of like serious relationships. And they're, so if they don't look to women their age, like they're gonna go looking younger. And the longer it took for them to get to that established position, that means the longer they've had of not being desirable, essentially. So they're not going to go pick from, like if they remember being 24 and they weren't desirable at 24, they're not necessarily going to go pick up a 24 year old woman. Like let's say they're 35. They're going to say, Hey, I wasn't desirable at 24. Um, like, they're just gonna go earlier than that. So like, they're gonna remember like, hmm, 24 year old woman, how, how were they at that time? Oh, like in your brain, just gonna remember, I didn't really like 24 year old women, even though those 24 year old women are different from the ones you experienced, your brain just, like it takes a really sophisticated brain to like separate certain things. So unless, you know, you really kind of try to like, just for, okay, for, I'm just going to say for the majority of people, like, you're you're not going to get that 24-year-old, you're not going to remember, you're not going to remember that 24-year-old woman as desirable. Um, you're going to kind of go, go earlier, and, be, like, almost, you, you kind of just start going toward, more toward just, like, what biology dictates rather than what societal norms would dictate because you're like when there's like a lot of things that go into this like so i'm just trying to i'm just trying to say it in a general sense but 
the more different the male and female trajectories are, the more when they come together, it's not on a social, it's like more of a biological thing, like rather than a like social thing, if that makes sense. And I think that's what we're seeing in our current society here. That's like what I'm seeing when I see the trajectories of my friends and when I'm, you know, observing things like just through the media that we have, observing um, some of these various like social movements and things like that, to me, and like to me, it makes sense even from from an early age. That's what kind of made sense to me, honestly. But then I assumed that society took care of certain things moving forward so like we wouldn't get back to like root biology but given that now that i'm getting older i kind of see that no society has not necessarily taken care of those things now it just kind of makes sense like that root biology just makes more and more sense like it, it take the long if it like the longer it kind of takes for a man to get established he has i mean especially if he wants things like a family he just has no no social impetus to not go with his root biology and also women on the other end they have no societal impetus to not go with their root biology or at least closer to that root biology if the like backbone of society doesn't necessarily push them away from that so you know, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess that that's all I have to, that's what I had to say for this one. Um, yeah, like the comments thing that I was saying in the beginning of the video, just, you know, leave, leave a bunch of comments, hopefully one will show up and, you know, I'll try to get the, I could try to get you guys as approved, you as approved commenters and we'll see what happens. Do you agree or disagree? Did I make sense? Also, you know, discuss that as well. I'll try to cover this more later on because I think this phenomenon is going to get more pronounced as we move into later days here. And also this isn't necessarily ideal to be honest and honest. Like you don't want to go too far the other way. So, you know, but yeah, the pendulum swung all the way one way. So like I can't stop the pendulum from swinging. Honestly, I'm just I'm just observing it and trying to position myself accordingly. So it is what it is. But all right, long ass video. I'll catch you guys later. Hopefully, y'all enjoy these ones. Channel going up. Keep it going. I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.